Okay, y'all, I did not want to go to the gym today, which is why I didn't take you with me. I did not want a workout video. I need to figure out how I'm gonna film that. I, I do want to do a workout video for you guys, but I don't really know what you want to see, so let me know what, like, just like a five minute workout or what? Anyway, me and my, my buddy, my buddy buddy, gonna go see the pets, and then we gotta go to Trader Joe's, right? Right. Oh, the birds, how cute. The birds first. What's in there? All the little rodents are gone. I wonder if someone adopted all of them. Let's go see the cats. See if they... <laughs> those are for those are for hamsters. Come on, let's go see the cats. No, no, no. Come, <laughs> That's for cats, buddy. You and your balls. I brought your balls. No, 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 no. Put that back. That's not for you. Look, in Mama's purse, I brought you your balls that you like. No, that is not a toy for for humans. Put it back. Look, I brought your your balls. No, I want this. No, come on, let's go. No, but you can have your balls. Look. I want this, 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 this. Tomorrow, I I could have that. Not tomorrow, no. But you can have these. No. Oh my. You guys didn't know Maddox has a obsession with balls, <laughs> like little golf balls and stuff. He carries them around everywhere. I think I've mentioned that before. Oh, what did we find? <gasps> Are there any cats to adopt? What's that? Oh, that one is cute. Toby, is it a boy? <gasps> I legit want to adopt a cat. What? Who? Oh, that one's cute too, but I like this one because it's little. Is it, is that its name, Toby? Is it a boy cat? Oh my gosh, why do I want to adopt a cat? These cats are, they're all brothers. Why do I want to adopt all of them? They're so cute, I'm gonna become a cat lady. Hi, baby. Hi, kitty. Is it cute? Look how snuggly. Oh, he's a cat Say hi. He's only six months, so he's so playful. Oh my goodness. Tell me right now not to adopt a cat. Oh my goodness, how oh my goodness, cookie butter or no cookie butter? Should I do it? It's so, so good, but it's so not good for you, but it's so good. I'm gonna do it. I'll just have to have self-control. <laughs> that one. <laughs> We need more squeezies. What'd you say, buddy? What'd you see? What's that? A lobster. Is it creepy? Don't drop those blueberries, friend. Okay, off we go. And you got a sucker too? Lucky day, buddy. Can you get it? <laughs> you got it. Thanks. <laughs> oh my, did the most. Okay, time for a little Trader Joe's haul because I made the mistake of going to Trader Joe's when I was hungry after the gym. Everyone knows that's a golden rule that you do not break, but I did and I didn't go too far overboard. I did have some self-control, so I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so first up, don't mind not just creepy doll in the background. Addict squeezed me into getting a watermelon even though I feel like it's not all the way watermelon season yet, so hopefully this is good. I think it is. Sounds hollow. That is kind of creepy. Maybe I should move her. Is that creepy? That's a little creepy. So I got a watermelon. Um, hopefully it's good. Now this bag I think is the bag of purchases, the hungry purchases. So I blame this all on Maddox. He wanted to buy these JoJo's. These are delicious. They're like Oreo. I mean they're like, you know, the Oreos of Trader Joe's. I think they're really good. Don't buy the gluten-free ones. Just gonna be honest, they're not really very good. But the normal ones are really good. Next up, I completely forgot about their banana bread. This stuff is so good. All you have to do is add two eggs and some vegetable oil and some water. So good, so, so good. If you're looking for a really good box banana bread, it doesn't have a fake box taste at all. So, so yummy. Hashtag, this is not sponsored by the way. I'm assuming you guys know that, but just to be clear. The kids love these, mainly Maddox and Kylan, these um, little cereal bar, whatever they're called. Yeah, kind of like Nutri-Grain bars. We got the strawberry flavor, because that's our favorite. 
Burr. This was totally a hungry purchase. I should not have gotten these, but they look so good. Crispy, crunchy chocolate chip. These are just for me. I'm not sharing these with the kids at all. These are my stash only. Of course, at the register, I saw this gold cold brew coffee chocolate bar. I buy their cold brew already, this um, kind. So when I saw the chocolate bar, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Chocolate coffee bar with cold brew coffee, caramel filling. This is gonna go straight to the fridge. Um, comment below if you chill your chocolate. I always put my chocolate in the refrigerator. I like it chilled. Okay, so since it's Taco Tuesday, got some tortillas. I don't usually buy tortillas there, but these are like homemade, handmade tortillas. are really, really yummy, so I got those. Um, oh no, you guys, <laughs> this bag is full of all the naughty things. I really thought I did good, and now as I'm unpacking this bag, I'm like, maybe I didn't. Okay, if y'all haven't had the cookie butter, oh, what I tell you? I like to eat mine with apples. I like to dip apples in it. If you have self-control, it's really not that bad for you, but I never do. Your One tablespoon is really all you're supposed to have. Who only has one tablespoon? But this stuff is good. I like the crunchy kind, but they also have the smooth. Oh, it's so good. Okay, Kayla Lachey, AK Doll, was um, talking about these in one of her Trader Joe's hauls, so I had to get them. Shout out to you, Kayla. Uh, shout out to you, girl, if you're watching this. These I literally got because I saw them in her haul, and it, it's dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. So it's like Reese's Pieces, but like a little healthier. Oh, I cannot wait to chill these as well. Actually, she puts hers in the freezer, so I'm totally gonna try that too. And then of course I got some avocados for some guac tonight. My famous guac, homemade guac. Okay, so that was one bag. I know, I know, I know. Wait, I shouldn't have gone hungry. Next bag. I love baby arugula. I really can tell the difference between normal arugula and baby arugula. There's a difference. So I, I bought a bag of baby arugula. So yummy. And I, I just went ahead and grabbed these. But normally I buy my eggs from Costco. They have organic eggs there. I got some chicken thighs for tacos. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am such a fan of this veggie fried rice. I love to eat it over um, a bed of mixed greens. Maybe some arugula. So good. And then of course, because me and the kids love it. The orange chicken, I always get that. I only got one bag this time instead of two, but Audrey actually has been requesting this. She loves it. And then this is where the hungry purchases came in again. I saw this tempura cauliflower, Kung Pao tempura ca cauliflower. How delicious does that sound? It sounded really good, so I got that too. That'll probably just be for me, but maybe the kids will try it. Lazy purchase because making rice is not hard, but I went ahead and did the box of the, the three minute organic jasmine rice because it's just so quick. Um, to go with the other things. And sometimes it's just nice to have like a quick rice option that doesn't take, I mean not that making rice takes forever. I don't know, this was totally a lazy purchase, but these are really good. Oh, I'm excited for this butternut squash spirals. So it's literally like noodles, but butternut squash. I'm gonna eat that with, actually I might eat that for lunch today with some sauce, with some spaghetti sauce. Um, just look, I love the packaging and I just, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I totally forgot this, this dressing is so good. Spicy peanut peanut vinaigrette with jalapeno and fresh, fresh cilantro. So, so good. I think I might, I've said I was gonna eat like five different things. I think I might make a salad, like a shrimp salad with some of that arugula and some tomatoes with some of this on it. Mm. And then this cowboy caviar is so good. It's just corn, black bean, and pepper salsa. I really, really, really like this. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Um, it's perfect consistency. It's really good for just chips and dipping with chips. So anyway, I think oh one more thing Flowers What? Trader Joe's in case you didn't know best kept secret. They have the best flowers. They're the best deal and they're beautiful So I got these hydrangeas. I think those are hydrangeas and sunflowers. So yeah Okay, so I did decide to make the shrimp salad. I started with a little olive oil. I add liquid aminos. In case you don't know what that is, it tastes just like soy sauce. It's really great for seasoning. Little Mrs. Dash that had no salt, just seasonings in it. I'm trying to lower my sodium a little bit, so I'm trying to cut back on salt just a little bit. Then I added my greens while my shrimp was cooking. I added a ton of hot red pepper flakes because I like my stuff spicy. Threw in the arugula. I don't wash it again because it's already pre-washed. Added some tomatoes in there. Oh my 
gosh, I wanna eat this again while I'm watching this back. Then I added my shrimp. Now you guys, this is what makes the salad next level. This salad dressing I got from Trader Joe's. It is so good, not sponsored, just saying. If you love that Asian flavor, it's really good. Um, I also measure my dressing because I like to stick to the serving size suggestions. I'm a dork like that. It turned out bomb. So I am heading to a coffee shop right now so I can sit down and do a little work on my computer and prepare for tonight. So I was asked to speak on a panel at a an event for um, other local influencers and content creators and I'm really excited for the opportunity It was really humbling and sweet of them to reach out and ask me to be part of the panel um, I'm just gonna be chatting about lifestyle and mom being a being an entrepreneur and a mom and I'm really excited to share because I've wanted to do more with that but I will be honest to say I get a little nervous public speaking is really not major for me I I don't really get like super scared talking to a group of people but I also want to make sure I know what I'm talking about and I'm not just like up there rambling so I've done a couple other events before um, and I feel pretty confident and I'm excited to share but part of me is like I always have this little voice not it's not a voice but it's more of just this little this little part of me that's like oh my gosh like I'm I'm just a mom am I really equipped to be on this panel should I be really speaking and I'm like no Brittany put on your confidence pants in this for a while um, and I really do want to share it with people other content creators and people that are aspiring to either have a blog or a YouTube channel or have their own business and things like that um, and share my experience um, on that so anyway I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, look over the questions. They were nice enough to give me, to give all of us speakers the questions ahead of time that are gonna be asked, and then there'll be a couple um, questions asked by the audience, but I'm excited. I also need to find an outfit to wear um, because I feel like a really big part of being a confident speaker is feeling confident in what you're wearing and just your presence, and I have outfits, but I'm just kinda like, do I wanna wear a dress? Do I wanna do like a power suit vibe? I don't really know. So I'm gonna to try to get this work done, um, some emails done, and then go shop for something really quick. The event is in a few hours, so I really don't have a ton of time. I'm so last minute, I'm realizing I've become <laughs> Dropped a little bit fab, so I got ready. I'm ready to go to this event. This is the outfit I ended up getting. I just went with a long flowy skirt. I have some cute heels and this little yellow top because yellow is my power color. I always feel so confident when I wear yellow. Um, so yeah, I gotta go um, a ride there because I don't like driving when I have to speak at events. I don't like stressing out about parking. I just like to take a ride and get there. So anyway, this is why you guys need to follow me on Instagram because I'm not gonna take the vlog camera with me. I know you guys are like, what? Why are you not gonna vlog it? But I really wanna focus on being a panelist and I don't want to take away from engaging with people, trying to get footage. Um, so sometimes I choose to not vlog things, not because I don't wanna share them with you guys, but it's just hard to like talk and vlog and connect and also get good footage. So. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't already already because these kind of things are a lot easier for me to just kind of insta story little tidbits here and there versus point out my camera and doing like a full stick spiel a full spiel so um, yeah if you aren't following me um, at Britain all because I will definitely be insta storying tonight so yeah I'm excited I made some really I made some really quick little notes to jot down. Um, just to prompt my mind when I get asked questions so that I don't get too chatty. I can be a little chatty sometimes. So I'm going to try to stick to the questions and not go on tangents and stuff. So anyway, I'm feeling really good, excited to go, and I will talk to you guys later. Probably the next clip will be me without makeup with a hat on again. So enjoy this makeup look for now. Okay, you guys, that is all for this week's vlog. I... Wanted to let you guys know, I mentioned um, on the last clip about when I was going to that event, I did save all of the clips from the event on my Instagram under the highlight section to my Instagram and you go to, I think I did it under local fun. I have a um, highlight saved. Oh, go to local fun and go through all of my stories. Um, I love to save little local things that I do to that rep Kansas City in case you guys come and visit or if you live here, fun stuff to do anyway. 
oh yeah, coffee shops. <laughs> but I saved the event under my stories. Oh yeah, here it is. So if you guys want to go see, since I didn't, I wasn't able to vlog, I did save it so you guys can see that. So yeah. We have a fabulous weekend, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>